right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, the inimitable Khabib Nurmagomedov. And this guy makes his way to the Octagon, D.C. You run out of time setting up everything he's accomplished, but he always puts that status as an undefeated fighter and UFC champion on the line. He will do so again here tonight. The moment he walked in the AKA, you understood that there was something special about Nurmagomedov. He was a guy that was always listening, although he spoke no English. He was always listening and paying attention to try to learn and how to improve himself. And the moment he stepped foot in the gym, he was just open to each and every lesson and knowledge showing over the course of his UFC career. He was undefeated going into the UFC, and he has only built on that and become a champion, one of the most well-rounded fighters in all of the UFC. You know, your college wrestling teammates have told me when you showed up at Oklahoma State, you didn't speak English either. No, I didn't. It was all, it was all Southern Creole accent. It was all, it was all, hey, my boy. <laughs> right. Well, your English is now very proper, and so is Khabib's, and he's back on the proven ground here tonight, again, trying to prove himself as one of the pound-for-pound -pound greatest fighters on this UFC roster. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, 14 losses, and one draw. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Westland, Oregon, Chill! Sada! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle! You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. You ready to fight? So here is the internationally recognized Sambo master, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Used to wrestle bears. Thankfully, won't have to do that here tonight. Only taking out a human being, and those men haven't had much success against him. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Good one. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Try to establish that jab. Look at the whip action that comes with him throwing that kick. 
Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Good kicks there by Nurmagomedov. Oh, big shot land. Leg kick. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing the skill every single day. Right punches there. Just missed with the left there. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Nurmagomedov. That's a big strike right there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Big power shot there. Nice kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. So the numbers continue to pile up. 30 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. It's okay, keep going, keep going. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Shale's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Body kick now by Nurmagomedov. Well, he works his entire striking game off of that jab. Doubles up on the jab now. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, nice jab, counter for him there. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range though with it. Sonnen gets tattooed by that straight punch. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Big ball from Punch Land. Now he gets back to range. He's got Clip with the right hand. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Sonnen gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, misses with the jab. Counter jab, snaps the head back. That should get his attention. So there it is, longer reach, paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Nice move for punch. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Right hand upstairs. Another straight left. 20 seconds to go. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Punch over top. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Stop, stop, stop. Let's get someone on this cut. Calm down. We knew it was going to be a bloody fight. We knew this, okay? All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Head kicks upon head kicks, man. I mean, generally, you don't take this many head kicks. Right. You get one, and you go to sleep. But he's been able to withstand it. But I'm telling you, man, he takes one more and he takes one more clean. His night's over. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. And he continues to work the body here. 
Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off of him by blocking all these attacks. Big punch lands in the middle. Lands the left punch now, followed by a right. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Oh, and he counters effectively with a jab upstairs there, DC. I know you don't often have the reach advantage, but nice to see him making good use of it in this match. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Nermago Meta. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Sonnen's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Nice body kick. Nermago Medoff gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Right on the button. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. And that left hook landed on the button. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, and he caught the kick. Effective punch there by Nermago Medov. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Gubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. He's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the floor. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he gets telegraphed when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid the shot. And he caught the kick. And they separate. Just misses with that one. Oh, uppercut. Oh, tags him with that money left again. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Good punch, land. Nice body to kick right under the elbow. Oh, right left combo by Sonnen. Just out of range with that uppercut. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Beautiful body kick. Shale's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Oh, nice lead up. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. How good is that right hand? All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. 
Well, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect the fight to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we start. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Ooh, what a punch. Blocks the shot. Lands with a right hand. Oh, well-timed and placed overhand by Chael. Nice kick there by Nurmagomedov. Man, that left hand is money in the bank, and he led with it there. He led with it from the backside, through that left hand. I wonder what he's trying to set up to follow as the fight goes. Michelle Summit gets caught with that punch. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that shot. Right on the stud, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much to just keep making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs. To throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Great punch. Just misses there with the left. Oh, nice. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, nice high kick. Both guys landing with conviction now. We're not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Nice punch, man. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Right hand upstairs! Whoa! Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. Beautiful body kick. Oh, big left. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, and he counters with a straight left. That landed flush. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one two there by Nermago Metal. Straight punch lands. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. 
Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. And that one certainly found the target. Inside, he's hooked now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping. is over and blood is just fauceting out of his cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much and given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're gonna stop this fight. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster. So cardio right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Jail Sonnen gets caught with that punch. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. Now, he lands early, he lands off. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times, he's used this punch to get to the target. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right. Oh! News go. Serve him up. Go get him. So sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Nice straight punch. Back and forth we go here. Left hook to the head. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Nice job. There, huge block for him. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful legs. Nice punch by Nermago Meta. Pretty good right hand. under the elbow. Oh, big left hook there. Combinations here. Oh, and just like that, the fight is over. He got him. What a fight. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 44 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Chad And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you.